Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today I am going to be going through everything we do on the farm to keep all of our animals cool, be it the rabbits, the goats, the pigs or the horses. So I'm going to go through everything that we do to keep all of our animals cool, starting with the rabbits. So as the temperature is going to be very high today, I'm going to show you what we do for each of the animals in order to keep them cool. So firstly we'll look at the bunnies and the first thing I do is go and take the rabbit's frozen packs out of the freezer. Each rabbit has their own little pack or um, sometimes more than that um, and then I go and pop it in their enclosures. So with these frozen packets um, just to discourage the rabbits chewing them even though they are safe um, and to sort of make sure that they don't get too cold if they lay next to them I wrap it in a linen towel um, just because then it will still remain nice and cool but if the bunnies do sort of want to lay against it or anything they're not like getting stuck on it or it's not getting too cold for them so then I just generally pop this somewhere that I know um, each rabbit sits so with Tallulah that I'm going to show you today she always goes in the bottom section of her hutch and that's actually the area that the sun normally gets on it first thing in the morning so that's when it gets quite hot so we're going to pop that in now So for the rabbits I have these um, chili paws um, towels that they are, it doesn't look like a towel but it's actually from B&M and they're really really good so all you do is wet them and they stay cold for quite a long time um, so we're going to do that. So I just pop this somewhere I know Tallulah will walk on it because at the very least if she doesn't sit on it it'll keep her paws nice and cool. So you can also do the same thing with ordinary towels, you can wet these and they will stay wet and they will remain cool for your rabbits and things like that. Um, these don't stay as cold for as long as the B&M option but if you don't have a B&M near you or you don't want to pay for a cool mat or something like that and you're looking for a free way to keep your animals cool you can literally just wet a towel and pop it in the bottom of their hutch the bottom of their enclosure and um, things like that if you're wanting to create a bit of shade if you wet um, a towel and then pop it over like a window or something like that that you're trying to like block from the sun um, if that window is open obviously the cool air the air will like cool as it goes through the towel as well so yeah I'm going to wet this and also pop that in today because it is very warm So something that I do every single day, um, but especially it's important on hot days, is to give all of the rabbits fresh water. So I'm just doing Tallulah's now, and the reason that I pop a lid on this is just so that I don't spill it when I'm walking. These bowls, again, are from B&M, and they're actually like container bowls, um, like little Tupperwares, but they're really good for the rabbits' water because they're bigger than a normal bowl, they're cheaper than a normal bowl, and they have lids, so that's really good. And I just pop that in her enclosure next to all of her towels and everything so that I know that she's got a nice, cool drink for the day. So you may notice that the majority of the items that I put in to cool the rabbits go into Lula's shed. Um, I do also put items in the other shed on really hot days but that is on um, a concrete floor so the concrete floor is always cold for the other rabbits. 
and also that shed receives um, no sun it's completely like blocked from the sun the sun doesn't get in there um, unless the rabbits are outside so they're nice and cool in that shed whereas this one gets a little bit warmer because it does get a little bit of sun first thing in the morning um, but yeah I'm going to now go and do all the other rabbits waters um, and pop them some bricks that I put in the freezer as well probably um, because that's a really good way to keep them cool so when I do the three other bunnies you can see where the lids are really handy because it means I can carry all of their three waters at once and none of it spills and I just pop all their waters in. The bunnies today are mainly going to be inside um, out of the sun and everything so they were kind of just chilling indoors while I was putting all of their fresh water in. So next up we have the piggies who as you can see love the sun they're just chilling out here now that it's nice and warm the sun's actually just gone behind a cloud so for the piggies what we do is we fill in their wallow pits as you can see because these have been filled in over the last few days they have got a little bit of a wallow pit going on at the moment but i'm going to add some more water in that and give the pigs a little bit of a shower because pigs don't sweat they have to wallow to cool down and they use the mud as a sunscreen so the first thing that I need to do is to check that the hose pipe isn't hot. So I tend to run it for a little while. And at this point, it's actually really warm water. Um, and obviously that's not what we want. So I'm gonna let this run for a bit until I know that the water is nice and cold. Um, I want to be putting cold water on the pigs because it's a warm day anyway. I don't want to be showering them in scalding hot water. Um, so if you are sort of hosing any of your animals off including horses um, during warm periods of weather and your hose pipe has been laid outside like ours has remember to always run your hose for a bit to cool it down otherwise you're going to possibly end up with some very hot and scalding animals so with the pigs i give them a bit of a spray all over this helps cool them down because obviously the water from the hose pipe is nice and cold and i also pop some water in their wallowing pits which means that they can cover themselves in the mud. So it's important that I don't just wet the pigs, like that's not really going to do anything. The idea is that they get the mud on them and then they will sit in the sun and let that dry and that acts as sun cream on their skin. Primrose is a pig that enjoys sort of being in the mud and water more. Pickle normally ignores it and tries to avoid being in the water but today his instinct took over and he was really enjoying his little mud bath that he was having. So next up we have the goats. Now our goats are boa goats, so that means that they are a breed that actually originates in Africa. So they are very much used to a warm climate. They're actually a very hardy breed and could adopt themselves with almost all types of weather and climate. So the only thing they don't really like is rain. So days like today when it's really warm and sunny, doesn't bother the goats at all. They have got their nice cool shade in their brick building, um, but most of the time you'll actually see them outside just sunbathing and enjoying the sun. They obviously have access to clean fresh water and they do have shade, um, but the goats don't really require any sort of special measures for warm weather, um, just because it is the climate that they are most used to anyway. Okay, so that's all of the other animals sort of dealt with. I'll come on to my dog soon. But with the horses, in terms of keeping these guys nice and cool, we basically just leave them to it. Um, it never really gets worryingly hot here. If it did, we'd be sort of giving the horses electrolytes, giving them baths. Um, it's actually, the sun's just gone behind a cloud right now, so it's not actually too boiling at the moment. The horse that struggles the most with the heat is Charlie. As you can probably guess why, he's a traditional cob. He has a lot 
of hair. You can see all of this going on, which is fantastic for getting flies off of him with his long mane, but it's not so great when the weather is so hot. So what I would normally do is I either wet his mane so it's nice and cool on his neck, or I plait it for him. Um, a few people have said, why don't you just, you know, hog him like I do Lucy. He's never really that uncomfortable. If he was really, really sweating up, I would definitely hog him. But to be fair, for a big, chunky, traditional cop, he deals with the sun quite well. Now, he has got his sun cream on that you guys will have seen me put on him before. So any of our horses, so Charlie and Lucy that have a pink nose, we put sun cream on their noses if they are not wearing a fly mask and that is because their noses burn. So Charlie's had his sun cream on, you can't quite see it at the moment, but he had that on first thing this morning. Um, also, all the horses have obviously got access to water, that is always free running in their fields, they all have automatic water drinkers, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Now, I didn't actually know that today was going to be like this hot because I've been at work all week, so I haven't checked the forecast. Um, had I known, I could have probably made the horses some ice lollies or something like that. Um, so that is an option, you can sort of make things like that or put ice in their water um, to kind of cool it down a bit if you think it's going to get too hot if you have them in buckets or anything. Um, obviously don't give them like frozen water. Um, but yeah, so things like that. So one thing as well is that all of our horses have access to shelter. So for some people, they like to put their horses inside um, and in their stables when it's really, really hot. Now, our roof is made out of tin on the stables, so our stables actually get very hot. Um, so our horses don't go indoors when the weather's really hot, but they do each have a field shelter, so they've all got access to shade. Um, so it's much cooler in there for them. Obviously, if you do have like a brick stables or something like that, you can pop your horse in there. We used to be on a livery yard that had um, a really like old fashioned brick stables and it was like one of those that it was always freezing cold inside. So it was really good for bringing the horses in during the day when the weather was like this and then turning them out at night. So as well as kind of just leaving the horses to it, we don't ride them if it's absolutely boiling. I know a lot of people on my channel are from abroad and it gets a lot hotter over there and your horses are acclimatised to it so you're like that's not hot at all. Um, I ride him much hotter than that but that's just what we do just because I wouldn't want to go for a run on a boiling hot day so I don't make the horses work on really hot days. Um, if I am going to ride them and I know it's going to be a hot day I'll do it like first thing in the morning when it's quite cool or last thing at night when it's cooled down a bit. Um, obviously Taffy here is retired anyway so it doesn't make a difference to him. Um, as well as that our horses also have protective gear on so Taffy at the moment is rocking his fly mask um, which is UV protected as well and he has his fly boots on so these are also UV protected um, he gets skin dermatitis where it affects the UV rays affect his legs basically and it reacts so that's why he's wearing these and so does Danny so if I'm off on a hot day I would normally use this opportunity to bath the horses it's actually forecast a storm later today so I'm not going to bath them on this occasion just because I'll bath them in the red hot sun and then if it does storm tonight I can guarantee they will be rolling and be black again by tomorrow. So not going to bath them today. One thing we are going to do is check them quite regularly so when the weather is very hot we come and just check the horses aren't sweating up they're you know they're absolutely fine they're not showing any signs of um, overheating or distress or anything and when we do that we come and fly spray them so this is my fly spray it's actually in a garden sprayer um, because I use a power phaser and I buy it in the big um, tubs and then I just stick it in my own little bottle but I also regularly fly spray the horses so every time we come and check them every couple of hours or so because obviously they're on our own land so they're just in the back garden is when I will come and fly spray them. It does last about like 10 hours, but I like to come and just fly spray them every so often just to make sure because in this weather when there is no breeze and it's absolutely boiling, the flies annoy the horses so much. 
Um, it's a lot better since I've been using the power phaser, like we don't actually have to spray them that often. Um, so if you are looking for one, I would give that a go. So last but certainly not least, we have Bolto. So Bolto is my Hussy Cross German Shepherd dog. Obviously he has a lot of fur and he is quite a big boy. So it's very important that we don't walk him when it's really hot. Um, there's a very good saying is that a dog never died from missing a walk, but dogs have died from going on walks. So when the weather is really hot, um, we don't take him for a walk unless it's really cool in the evening or first thing in the morning. Obviously, I would love for him to have a daily walk, but on days when it's going to be really high, um, he doesn't get walked at all. He will get an evening walk once it cools down, um, most days, but when it's like above 30 degrees, we don't walk him just for his safety because he can overheat um, and that can be really bad for a dog of his breed. So obviously he has access to shade and he's encouraged to be inside um, on warm days. Uh, he does have like a cool mat as well and he quite likes playing with ice cubes so they help to keep him cool but he is generally quite clever and switched on um, and he will just pop himself in the shade when he starts to get a little bit warm. Okay guys so they are all of the daily things I do to keep my animals cool on a day that I know is going to be very hot like the hottest day of the year. So leave me your tips, tricks, hints, anything in the comments below of what you do to keep your animals cool and I might have a go because it's meant to be really nice weather over the next few days to see if your tips and tricks help. Uh, so that is it guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video, hope it's been useful to any of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you get a notification every time I post and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys!